generation to generation People from every nation and tongue From generation to generation We sing Oh joy to the world We tried it <laughs> Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room. In heaven and nature sing, in heaven and nature sing. Savior reigns. Let men their songs in glory. While fields and flood, rock hills and plains, we be the sounding joy. We be the sounding joy.
I was just thinking as we were singing this song, you hold everything together. It's not by the work, it's by the word. The Bible tells us all things are held together. And do they consist? They're held together by his word. So let's just, you know, let's let's sing it with that word it's in there. The word in the song. It's word. Oh, it is word. Oh, word. all right. You got to fix that up there. <laughs> because I'm telling you, it's His Word that keeps us from falling apart. Amen. If His Word wasn't working deep within our lives, we just come apart. You just spin out. But God, by His Word, by His Word. Come on, let's sing it again. You're the radiant 
Folks, let's praise him. He's worthy. Sing a song of praise. Hallelujah. Sing a song of praise. Hallelujah. I was just thinking uh, when they came to Jesus they said to him Lord why don't you teach us how to pray and he said you started out like this said our father which art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom the kingdom is no more than a way of living that's all it is it's just a way of living. He said, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Now, I can't talk about a whole lot about heaven because we have such confused ideas about what heaven is. But I'm more convinced it's a state of being than it is a place. It's a state of being in him the way it is in him. But when we get these little glimpses of what is on the other side or in that unseen realm, the scripture says there's a song of praise that goes forth 24-7. It never stops. It's an ongoing thing. There's this ongoing praise, this ongoing adoration, this ongoing returning of the love that God pours out in our lives, returning back to Him, this praise either by the voice or the lifting of the hands or by dance or, or even the, the instruments giving praise to God. It's, it's absolutely, let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Let everything. We wonder sometimes why our lives get so miserable is because we refuse to let everything that's got breath praise the Lord. And so when we begin to take a look at that dimension we call heaven we begin to realize that's how it works there that's what the kingdom is the kingdom is a constant adoration of God Almighty just a constant adoration of 
Not who he is, not what he's done, but who he is. Who he is. We just praise him for what he can do for us. But what about who he is? Who he is. So Jesus said, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom, thy praise, thy worship, the way you do it on your world. Your way your world is done. Let it come and work in our world that way. Let it come over here and begin to function in that dimension. The world would change around us. Our world would change around us if we functioned in that dimension of praise. Amen? Amen. Praise comes out of the dimension of the old covenant where there was a thanksgiving offering. God would take thanksgiving offering from anybody. He didn't, you, you, you didn't have to be a Jew or a Hebrew or, or an Israelite to bring thanksgiving or praise to God. You just brought it. You just brought it and he received it. It's that false praise. You know, there's this real picture in the Bible about Judah. Judah means praise. But remember the one that betrayed him, his name was Judas. Judas. Come from the same root. God's not interested in false praise. He means praise when you really mean it. When it's really out of the heart of love. And when it's really out of the heart of adoration to Him. When it's really out of that dimension of a people that just loves Him. They don't just praise Him in church. They praise Him at home. They praise Him in their job. They give Him praise in everything. Because His kingdom is coming to reign in their lives. Well, they walk in this dimension. Amen? Well, it's not my job to preach today. Amen? You